and welcome to Local SEO Today. I'm Roger Murphy. And I'm John Vong. We want to welcome entrepreneurs and business owners today to our podcast. Today, we're talking about goal setting. And John, goal setting is terrific. And it's, it's, uh, it's for any time of year, whether it's the beginning of the year, or middle of the year. But setting goals is so important for business owners and for everyone, really. Exactly. There's so many different types of goals that individuals are after, right? Personal, business, career, relationships, any health. There's so many different targets that you want to achieve in a set time frame. And without goal setting, you don't really have anything to really motivate and push you to strive to succeed. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to talk about is as a business owner, um, what do you need to do in terms of goal setting to move yourself forward? And, and, you know, in the, in the big thing, there's so many little things that make a big difference, John, but uh, as you say, setting a goal, number one, and then maybe making yourself accountable. We're going to go through all this, but there's just so many little things can make a huge difference. Exactly. So I think the first thing is being realistic with the goals, right? And making sure that there's habits in place. So the first thing is um, make sure there's a time frame. So maybe at the beginning of each year, you set some sort of time stamped goals on a monthly basis, quarterly basis, or annual basis mm -hmm. of what you want to achieve in your business. Yeah. Um, and this could be revenue targets, it could be staff headcount, it could be profitability, it could be reducing spend, it could be any, any metric that you want to achieve. Exactly. Uh, such as even memberships, if you want to, depending on the type of business you're in. And of course, we're, we're, we're talking about the world we live in today. It's, it's all about relationships and uh, keeping clients sticky. So all sorts of goals you can set. Yeah. And I, I would say try to do this regularly and change the goals up if they're not achievable to make mm -hmm. them realistic. Right. Mm -hmm. So as you know, pandemic has hit last year and there's been a lot of shifts in terms of projections, targets, even goal setting that you did last year. Um, make it more realistic for this year because if you, you know, had goals that was not achieved last year, this year might be very similar, right? So mm. adjust them accordingly based on the environment that we live in today. Yeah. And I like the idea too, John, of, of truthfully, when, when we're talking about setting goals, of course, we want to talk about putting them in writing. But I also like the idea of if it's got a timestamp to it, then as a business owner, entrepreneur, or anyone, even in personal life, if you, if you do a reverse engineer to say, okay, if I'm going to hit that, whatever that target is in 12 months, what do I need to do every month to achieve my goal? So you break it down. If it's too big a goal, it would seem insurmountable. And then it might be like, I don't know how we're going to get there. But if you break it off into timestamps, if I, to move me towards my goal this week, what do I need to achieve this week? And you make it very, very uh, attainable. It builds on itself. I, I love the, the fact that you mentioned that because as you know, myself and you included, we've been in sales for many, many years and yep. decades. And these are little actionable tips that we did to achieve these daily, weekly, monthly, yearly targets to mm -hmm. supersede them or uh, achieve whatever accomplishments that we did accomplish. Because the big thing is, if for sales reps, we needed to hit how many phone calls, how many speaking of prospects, how many leads in the hopper, how mm -hmm. many warm, warm, attractive, almost sales um, funnels that we had. So if you break it down as a business owner, it's more about what are you doing to get yourself out there? What are exactly. some of the marketing initiatives that you have in place? Are you writing more content? Are you out there talking to more individuals or prospects? Are mm -hmm. you out there building more relationships? Um, talking to vendors, suppliers, customers, there's so many things that you can do and it's kind of overwhelming, but if you break it down to smaller targets, 10 this week, 10 today, yep. you know, it'll, it'll slowly, you know, hit to, to a point where you're actually um, making a dent to the bigger picture. Exactly. I like the analogy uh, from, you know, everyone's, uh, anyone who's a sports um, enthusiast, whether it's you, basketball, John, or myself, hockey. In hockey, we talk about, you don't want to, if you can't look at winning the, the game, you start off with, can I win this face-off? 
And then can I win my shift? Can I win the period? You break it down and because you have made it manageable, you move yourself towards that inevitable ultimate goal. Exactly. Really fascinating. Yeah. Hockey, basketball, you win that tip off, you win that rebound, you win yeah. that basket hustle play. Yeah. Um, and so is in business. You win these small little actionable tip, uh, tidbits yeah. of achievement. You talk to more people, you okay. get in front of more people to build relationships. Mm -hmm. You get them closer to the end goal of an ultimate sale or a long time, lifetime client yeah, of yours. Right. And th that takes time to not just build a habit, yeah. learn, make a lot of mistakes, but also improve along yep. the way. Yep. And in the, in the hockey analogy of the world, uh, Wayne Gretzky says, you'll miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I'm pretty sure that was, I have to attribute that to him. I think it was him, but it's true. So John, to your point, if you don't set a goal, you've got nothing. You're just floating around out there. So it is imperative as a business owner, entrepreneur, even for personal growth, set something and then work towards it. Even if you don't hit that target, you're still moving forward in terms of personal and business growth. So I, I know there's a lot of people that might already be doing goal setting. They're writing it down. They have these goals in mind, but then how do you hold yourself accountable? What are the steps and action tips that you're doing to actually do the things, write down what was actually done, make notes on what didn't work, what did work, and move towards things that actually convert at a higher level. Mm -hmm. So these are baby steps that you need to do to actually reflect, to figure out what's been going well and what hasn't been going well. Mm -hmm. um, so spend a couple minutes to really jot down the daily intake of what went on during the day, what was successful, what wasn't, and move closer to doing more of the things that move you closer to success. Yep. And I suppose you, you want to be flexible too, because at the end of the day, if you miss your weekly target, that's not the end of the world because you can refocus to say, okay, I didn't hit what my target was or my mini goal or whatever for this week. Don't beat yourself up because you've got next week and you can format and reformat and, and pivot and adjust what your, your activities are uh, to catch up and exceed your, you know, your targets and your goals. So. And, and that's the reality that we live in today. There's no predictability like it once was. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of things that you are out of your control, like government mandates and shutdowns and lockdowns. Um, there's a lot of things that are restricting you. So maybe these smaller goals aren't as realistic as larger monthly, quarterly, yearly goals. Mm -hmm. And what are things that you can do and pivot um, so that you can do things that you can actually be in control of things exactly. that you can't do, then refocus pivot. Yeah. So if there's things that you can't do in terms of driving traffic today, focus on building more um, authority, building more relationships, focus more on marketing, writing more compelling content, things that really resonate to build your brand stronger so mm -hmm. that when things get back to normal, you're positioned well. Yep. I like the idea too, John. I know we want to talk about celebrating these little wins and big ones along the way for yourself and for the team, if you've got a team working for you, but to, to celebrate and uh, acknowledge the hard work that's going on. Yeah. And this could be as little as going for coffee, going for lunch, going for dinner. And this mm -hmm. doesn't have to be with your staff or at the company. It could be on a personal level, like go with your family, take some friends out to say, look, I got a good client this month and it made my month monthly target or weekly or yearly go out and enjoy yourself. And it doesn't have to be blowing the, the budget, right? It could be just going out for a little meal or a weekend getaway or anything. Exactly. Yeah, because these are little things that we learned over the years in sales, right? And it, it got us in a habit of, you know, shifting our behaviors, uh, mental clarity, making sure that we're moving closer to the end goal. And yes, maybe there's months and days that you don't achieve the goals that you set out. And don't get too hard on yourself, right? It's all self-inflicted as well. A lot of people get really upset. They're stressed. They're depressed. They put too much pressure on themselves. But in reality, it's self-inflicted. You put your goals in yourself. And when you don't achieve it, 
it's okay. Yeah. It's maybe out of reach. It's maybe this month you didn't do it. L- let's try again next month. It's exactly. okay. And it's funny, you know, these these uh, small steps. They don't need to be huge. And that's if I if that's one takeaway I could give or leave someone. Don't make the goal so insurmountable that it's like you you need you feel like you want to give up. Just it's like take one bite at a time. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. It's just take those little steps forward and they build upon themselves and you've got you're closer and closer to that goal that you were shooting for exactly and again this whole business journey is time set like it takes time to learn and pivot and try different things um this past year has been challenging uh 2020 2021 it's already off to not a great start but there's still room for you to set goals that may be achievable, may not be, but it's important to make a habit out of it. A lot of business owners don't even set goals on a personal standpoint, let alone business. Then how do they get to closer to their end game, whatever that may be exactly. at the year target, quarter, three year, five year, 10 year goal. I focus on goal setting on a regular basis, twice a year with not just the team, but my, my client, clients as well, my staff, my friends, my personal relationships, my family. It's so important to just make a habit to do mm-hmm. this because anything not written down or not set will never get accomplished. Right. It's almost like if you don't write it down, it's not a goal. It, it, there's something that, it, that something that's almost like the universe will speak to you. If you put that in writing, you're declaring something. And I, I know that may sound a little out there, but the, the deal is, is if you keep your goal to yourself, it's not a goal. No one knows about it. But if you if you fo- if you put it on put it in writing, it's post on the wall, whatever it is, you put it out there. That's so much. That's a powerful statement that moves you towards your goals. So. And and maybe it is find an accountability partner. Uh, if you're part of a network community, uh, mastermind, or just friends or family that you trust and aren't too hard on you and you're open to kind of sharing what your targets and goals and financials or whatever it is, make sure that they're holding you accountable too. And they're gonna you know, have a regular discussion on a weekly, monthly basis to see mm-hmm. how you're doing, let alone trying to put pressure on you. It's more support. Okay. Awesome. I think uh, that's about it. That yeah, we the power of goal setting. I, I think uh, we hit a lot of the, the big points. And again, just even a few of the little tips that we've added today that people are take going to take away from this will make a huge difference. So, in, you know, little bite size, put some time stamps on it, John. Uh, reward yourself along the way. Um, you know, look at these and re, re, re you know revisit them on a regular basis. Um, it just move. It's 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 a it's a good it's good in business. It's good in personal life. And have fun along the yeah, way. Have fun. Well, John, thank thank you for your time, and thanks for our uh, visitors, listeners today. And we'll meet, see you again at local SEO today. Thank you.